Hi, welcome to this Young Wonks video on the basics of databases with TinyDB and Python. Here we're going to learn some of the basics of how to use and why to use a database and see how that can be done with something as simple as TinyDB and Python. So what is a database? A database is useful for us when we want to store information that persists even when a program is done. It's also a way to store information in an organized way and also allows you to access it quickly and safely. So why would we need a database? Now, a database is, as we talked about earlier, a very organized way of storing information and having it in an organized way allows us to access that information in a very quick and speedy way. Uh, you can also control different levels of access as that different people have different amounts of access to the information and also allows you to have some security like usernames and passwords. Now TinyDB itself is very useful uh, for specific types of use cases and it's completely written in Python and it's very fast. Uh, it's very simple and small and fun and it is very easy for someone to get started with and it's a very clean and well-documented library. So this is our choice to learn about database. Now you would not want to use TinyDB when you have a very complex application and are looking for high performance. There you might want to consider something like SQLite or MongoDB. Now any database that you use basically stands on four basic operations that are required for you to know and everything else is derived from that and these are called the CRUD operations C R U D stand for create, feed, update and delete. So create allows us to create a database, new tables and also new entries in those uh, databases or tables and read allows us to access that information in as a whole or as part of it update allows us to change some values in them and delete allows us to clear that information and remove those records from the database. TinyDB is very very easy to install. All you need to do is pip install TinyDB if you're on Windows and on a Mac and you're using Python 3 you might want to do pip3 install TinyDB. Then you can import TinyDB the object TinyDB and also query from the TinyDB module in your Python code and when you run this, if it successfully goes through, you know that you do not have any errors. Now let's take a look at how we can create a database and add some information in it. Here we instantiate the TinyDB object and specify the file name, in our case db.json and you will find that there's a .json file, db.json file that's created in your folder where all this information is going to get stored. Then to add an entry into this, we use the insert method. So we do db.insert and we can simply insert a dictionary. Uh, and generally you want to use key value pairs where the key is the identifier of the data and the value is that particular entry's value. So you can see we have two similar entries where there is type as the key and the value is apple and then there's count as the key and the value seven as the value. Same for type peach and count three. And then you can print all this information by using db.all. That's a very simple way to read all the information in the database. Next, we will look at the read operations. This is has two or three variations. The first one is to read the entire database and we already looked at that with the db.all. Now we can also iterate over the database and perform operations on each item one at a time and for this all you need to do is say for item in db and in that for loop you can do any operation. In our case we're just printing it. The third is to search for something. And here, what we need to do is create an object of the class query. Then what we can do is do a db.search and specify the attribute that we're looking for. So in this case, we're saying 
db.search fruit.type and in our case teach and that will return the entire document or entry related uh, which contains the fruit type as peach. Similarly, you could also do a db.search where fruit.count is greater than 5. And other similar operations, logical operations are also possible. Now updating a document is very easy in this. There are two ways just like we have seen in all other cases. The db.update and we can specify count as 10 and this updates all the documents to have the count as 10. In case we want to update only a specific one, we pass two arguments to the update method. The first one is the value that we want to update and the second one is the, uh, is the logical operation through which we want to search for that particular entry. In this case, it's fruit.type equals peach, so only the document that contains peach as the fruit type is going to change its count to 3. Finally, the last operation is delete. And here we can do two things where we can either remove specific uh, entries in the database or we can just completely clear the database. So we use the remove method over here and we specify the query by which it should search and remove different entries. In this case, we have fruit.count less than five. So it will remove all fruits in the database whose count is less than five. And db.truncate is used when you want to completely empty the entire database. Now, having tried this out, a good way to exercise your skills in databases is to try these three programs. The first one is to try a very basic text-based login system where you can create an account and then log in using TinyDB to store usernames and passwords. Another one is to create a hangman game where you can store all the words in the, uh, in the tiny DB and you can also divide them by their diff different difficulties. The third one for you to try out is to build a high score page in any pie game that you have and this could be like a snake game where you can store different time. Now that's it from me for basics of databases. Do try this out and leave comments and share and like this video if you found it to be useful. We will see you soon again with another fun YouTube video.